Hello, welcome. This is a 60 minute yoga flow with Philo Collective. Glad you could join today, or if not on the live version, glad you could join at another date, whatever works with your schedule. We're gonna do a 60 minute flow. We're gonna get started in just a second. As always, um, feel free to have water nearby. You're welcome to take sips as we go along. Um, in a traditional vinyasa practice, we wouldn't take any water breaks, but I'd much rather have you feeling hydrated and energized than about to pass out. So really listen to your body and what you need. Um, as always, feel free to modify. You can ramp things up, but you can always make things a little bit more simple. So listen to your body. Um, because if you're frustrated and um, fighting the practice the whole time, it's not gonna be fun and yoga really should be fun. It should be a great practice, not only for your body, but also for your mind, your heart, your emotional well-being. So really glad you could join and let's get started. Coming onto our mats, we're gonna start in child's pose. Knees are wide, big toes to touch. And then again, take it wherever you need. So if you want to stay up tall, palms to your thighs, great. Or walk your arms long out in front of you. Forehead releases down. Maybe it's connecting to the mat. Maybe you're stacking your fists. Really finding, again, what works for you today, not what worked yesterday, not what you hope might work tomorrow, but your child's pose, your starting position, perhaps closing your eyes, allowing your body to settle, starting to notice your breath. If you're running into this class, maybe it's a little ragged, take some deep inhales and longer exhales to slow it down. Maybe you're starting off super relaxed already. Start to find a regular inhale and out. Outhale, exhale. Even counts in and out. We're taking three more breaths here. Maybe adding a little bit of movement, maybe challenging yourself to get really still. Good, one more breath in together and a big breath out and slowly press up into a short or a low kneeling position like I am, palms to your lap, shoulders roll down, neck is long, but then pull your rib cage in, your tummy in, and that allows you to just sit up a little bit taller. Your gaze is forward as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Inhale, float your arms up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart center, fingertips connect, nice and controlled, beautiful. Inhale, reach up, nice big stretch, length and tall. Palms connect, hands to heart center. Good, one more time, root down to rise. Tabletop as you exhale. Adding movement, inhale, drop your belly, cow pose. Exhale, chin to chest for your cat. Keep flowing with this, inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Two more rounds, cow. And cat. Once more, cow. Good, exhale, cat. Find your neutral spine, breathe in. And exhale, open your left arm up, send your left leg back. So we're gonna modify it side plank. So maybe you spin your right shin under you for a little bit more support. Maybe you lift your top leg up. So really grounding down into your right hand, lifting as you flex through your left foot. This is a great modified side plank. We will come back to side planks later. Feel free to always drop your bottom knee. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, one more stretch tall, tabletop. One cow pose, inhale. One cat, exhale. Back to your neutral spine. And then opposite side, left shin spins under, 
Right arm extends up, maybe your right leg also lifts, pushing down into your left palm, lifting up through your right fingers, through your right heel. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, you can drop your bottom toes. You can lift them up as you inhale and exhale. Good, you guys, one more breath in. Tabletop, beautiful. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're finding an upside down V with your body. Taking a moment here, you can pedal through your feet, roll out your ankles, press your chest back toward your thighs. And then your big toes come to touch, heels press toward the mat. Even if they don't touch, that's totally fine. Take a breath in and a breath out. Adding a little movement, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your chest back toward your thighs. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, heels press back. Do that again, inhale, heels lift. Exhale, knees bend, chest pushes back. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, heels down. Good, one more time, inhale to lift. Exhale, knees bend. This time, look right in between your hands and step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Do that again, halfway lift, open your heart. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, halfway. Ragdoll, feet are coming wide, bending into your knees so that your chest can fall forward. Really take any movement, any arm position, hands to the floor, maybe to your low back. You can grab opposite elbows. You can stay center. And the weight is just slightly into your toes without doing a somersault. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, one more in. Feet, toe, heel, back together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly rise all the way up, Tadasana. Arms extend all the way tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Do that again, inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart, just like we did in our kneeling pose. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale to your high plank. You can always drop to your tabletop. You can always hold a plank. Or we'll take vinyasa flows throughout the practice. So we'll go over one together. Gaze is forward, spine is long. Take a breath in. Squeeze your belly as you breathe out. Now as you inhale, hinge forward to your tiptoes. Exhale, lower down halfway, elbows by your rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Those are optional. Take them or leave them, but breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Look to the top of your mat and step, hop, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up to Dasna. Extend to the top. Hands to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale to Dasana. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift. Plank vinyasa or straight to your downward facing dog. In breath. And out breath. Say as you inhale. And as you exhale. Good, send your right leg high and stay as you breathe out. Push down through your left heel, lift your right heel taller. Exhale, warrior one. Right foot steps between your hands, arms rise up. Back heel is down, front knee is stacked. Everything squared off to the short edge of your mat and find a point for you to focus your gaze on. This focus is called a dristi. It's a way to center in on something tangible. Remove the distractions around you. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Awesome, one more breath in to exhale. 
as you inhale, warrior two to open. Legs stay about the same. This time though, your heart opens to the long edge of the mat. Front knee is forward and stacked over your ankle, open toward your toes. You can gaze over the long edge of your mat, maybe over the front of your middle finger. Breathing in and squeezing into your arms as you breathe out. Good, take one more breath in. Empty out completely. Stay low in your lunge. Inhale, reverse, right arm pulls back. Exhale to warrior two. Reach up and over, reverse warrior, warrior two. Good, one more time, reverse, really long. Hands to the mat, plank, vinyasa, downward facing dog. Whatever you need today is perfect. Take an inhale and an exhale. Send your left leg high. Stay as you empty. Heel lifts a little taller. Warrior one. So again, find your feet. Back heel is down. Front knee is stacked. Everything's in line. And if you feel that you can't pull your right hip forward, move your left foot off to the side just slightly. Just gives you a little bit more room to open up through your hips and your rib cage. Again, find your dristy, your focal point. Something that's not moving can really key in on. Two more breaths here in and out. Really good, full breath to exhale. One more in, warrior two. Again, just opening up, making adjustments in your feet if you need to. Front knee is still stacked. And even though there's a little curve in your back, try not to think of sticking your tushy out, but tucking it in. And as that tuck in happens, you're lifting up through your rib cage. Again, find your focal point. Maybe it's off to the side, maybe it's out in front. Shoulders are connected in the back. Arms are squeezing nice and tightly. You guys are awesome. Take a breath in and take a breath out. One more breath here to exhale. Left arm flips, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Nice and slow, like you're dragging yourself through water. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. We've got one more reverse. Hands to the mat for your flow, your plank, your downward facing dog. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Send your right leg high, warrior one. Control, lift up, breathe in. Good, warrior two as you exhale. Inhale, reverse, right arm pulls back. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Hands to the mat for your flow. Keeping the breath with you. Make sure you don't hold it. Take an inhale. Reset on your exhale. And then our left leg goes high. Warrior one, control, gentle step through. Inhale, rise. Beautiful, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. To the mat with your option. Good, exhale, downward facing. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Look to the top of the mat and travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Reach all the way up to Dasana. Chair pose. Chairs are nice little tight squat. Traditionally, our feet stay together. You can definitely Take about hip width distance. 
Your weight is in your heels. Your chest is open. Hands can be to heart center. They can open to a cactus. Reach up or forward. You're breathing in and you're breathing out. Good, two more rounds in. Sink a little bit deeper as you breathe out. Good, one more fill. Find your depth as you empty. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, really nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Find your plank, your vinyasa. Downward facing. Inhale together, and exhale. Adding on to our flow, send your right leg high. Warrior one. Inhale to rise. Good, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, pull back. Warrior two. Good, reverse. Extended side angle. So you're staying low. In your front knee lunge, we do this pose a lot. It's a really great opening of the front inner thigh. The back leg is still turned in, heart is open. You can use your forearm as a kickstand. You can hover your bottom arm here. We're just here two more breaths though, so breathe in and out. Neck is long, shoulders stacked, breathe in. As you exhale, bring your left hand to the floor. Inhale your right arm high. So we're just in an easy twist here, super grounded down into your left hand. You can always drop your left knee down or really think of lifting through your left kneecap. Take a breath in. Now side plank, your right foot steps back. Again, the left knee can drop, right leg can lift. We're here for two breaths in and out. Good, one more breath in. Swing your right foot back forward. Wiggle it so that you're into your low lunge. And inhale, rise all the way up to your crescent lunge. Beautiful, hands can be overhead to heart center, to your hips. Again, everything's forward. Nice and burning in our right thigh as we press deeper into the lunge. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, one more in. Chair pose, top of the mat, stay low. Good, you guys, inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Last time, in and out. Reach up and open, forward fold. Halfway lift, plank vinyasa, downward. Facing dog. You're doing great, so breathe in and breathe out. Send your left leg high, warrior one. Inhale to rise, exhale warrior two. Inhale reverse, warrior two. Inhale reverse. Extended side angle. Again, your left knee is bent. Shoulders are stacked. Sending your hips back slightly. Opening your front knee with your left arm or even using it as a kickstand. Two more breaths here in. Good and empty out. Shoulders are down. One more in. Right hand down as you exhale. Inhale your left arm high. And we're staying here for a moment. You're grounded into your right hand, you can drop your left knee down, or, th or sorry, your right knee down, that's confusing. Your left arm is up and open. Good, take one more breath in, and then side plank. Now you can drop your right knee. You can lift your top leg. You can breathe. <laughs> take an inhale and an exhale. Good, one more in. Step through to your low lunge. Pause as you inhale. Stay as you exhale. Crescent lunge, rise up and settle down. Modify the arms if you like. Make any adjustments. Back leg is fairly straight, but you don't have to lock it out. You can have a soft bend. Front knee is super bent though. 
inhaling together, rolling your shoulders down as you exhale. Two more in and out. Good, one more in. Chair pose, stay low, top of your mat. Breathe in, sink a little bit deeper. You're doing great, fill up to empty out. Now reach up and open, forward fold. Halfway lift, plank vinyasa, downward facing dog. Fill up together, exhale together, adding on a tiny bit more. Send your right leg high, warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Good, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, right arm back. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Extended side angle. We're just here for a full breath in to empty. Look up at your left hand, breathe in. Left hand breathes down. Right arm up, side plank. Drop the left knee. Maybe lift the right leg. Take an inhale and an exhale. Good, one more in. Low lunge, step through. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. You got it, breathe out. Take another in. Hands to heart center. In one-legged Tadasana. Pulling your left knee high. Staying here for a moment, really push down into your right heel to your right big toe, <coughs> excuse me. And then find your figure four. So crossing your ankle over, opening up your left hip and your knee, you can stay here or slowly come down into your seated figure four. Maybe your forearms connect to your calf. Maybe you reach around for your bottom shin. Maybe you slowly twist left elbow into your left arch. Perhaps you open your arms up. You're breathing in and breathing out. Awesome. One more. To exhale. Now push down into your right heel. Rise up. Warrior one. I mean, not warrior one. One legged Tadasana. Sorry. <laughs> Take one more breath in. Crescent lunge, soft, controlled, step back, breath in, hands to the mat. Take an inhale and drop your back knee down, coming up into our kneeling warrior. So our hips are pressing forward, but you don't want to flop into the pose. Think of still pushing down into your right heel. So you can lift up through your rib cage, up through your heart, tummy is in. Take a breath in and a breath out. Now tuck your left toes under, breathe in. As you exhale, come back up into your crescent lunge. We're almost done here, so breathe in. Hands to the mat. Kick back three, let your dog bend and open. So you can stack your hips, can roll out your ankle. Feel free to flip your dog, dropping your right foot down, opening your heart. We're meeting in downward facing dog in about three breaths. So take your time, shake out your right leg. Just did a lot of work for you. Make your way to downward facing dog for everybody to breathe in. Good and breathe out. Send your left leg high, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two, nice and slow. Inhale, reverse. Extended side angle just for one full breath in and out. As you inhale, look up at your right hand. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Inhale, your left arm up. Side plank with Whatever modification you need, pushing your hips high, keeping your gaze up, take a breath in, 
low lunge. Step your foot through. Inhale, crescent lunge. You've got it. Breathe out. Take another breath in. Hands to heart center. Dristy, your focus is forward. To exhale, one-legged Tadasana. Right leg comes up and we're pausing here. Everything on the left leg pulls up nice and tight. Rib cage is nice and tight. Also, tummy in, heart forward. Breathe in. Figure four. Starting tall and maybe staying tall. This is perfectly valid. Maybe sitting down into your chair, pushing your tailbone back. Maybe your forearms connect. Maybe you're reaching for the bottom shin. Maybe hooking elbow in your arch. Definitely breathing. Two more in and out. Fill to empty. Beautiful. Rise up one legged Tadasana. Stay as you exhale. Flex into the foot. Breathe in. Crescent lunge nice and slow. Step back. Inhale. Hands to the floor. Drop your right knee down this time. Coming into your kneeling warrior. Again, check yourself so that there's a little bit of a lift. Pelvic bone just tucks under slightly. Hands can be at heart center. They can lift up over your head or down at your waist. So lifting up so that you can bring your right hip flexor forward just slightly. Take a breath in. Tuck your right toes under. Here we go, you guys. Lift up to crescent. Stay as you exhale. Good, one more in. Hands to the mat. Kick back three like a dog. Bend and open, shake it out. Flip your dog if you like. Left foot goes down, left arm reaches up and over. Maybe straight to your downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Feel free to drop into a quick child's pose or even to a low kneel. Good, one more breath in and breath out. Because you're so awesome, we're gonna flow through one more time. So smile as you breathe in, relax your forehead as you breathe out. And here we go, right leg high. Warrior one, like a boss. You can do it, inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. We're going one breath, one flow, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Slow and steady reverse. Extended side angle. This time we're just here for the breath in. Left hand down as you exhale. Right arm up as you inhale. Side plank. Good, take one breath in. Step through, low lunge. Crescent, rise up. Hands to heart. You're doing great, one-legged Tadasana. Left knee lifts. Figure four. We're here for two breaths in and out. Gazes forward. Press down into your heel. Now rise up one legged. Crescent lunge. Step back. Take a breath in. Lower your back knee to a hover. Inhale up to your crescent. Exhale hands to the mat and take your flow. Our meat straight and downward dog. And good news, we only have a left side. So inhale and exhale. Left leg goes up. Warrior one. Inhale to rise. Good. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Warrior two. Reverse. Extended side angle, but only for a breath in. Right hand down as you breathe out. Left arm up, side plank. To breathe in, low lunge. 
Good, rise up crescent. Hands to heart. One-legged Tadasana, right knee high. Figure four for two rounds of breath in and out. So good, fill up and empty. One-legged Tadasana, reach high. Crescent lunge, controlled step back. Good, breath in. Hover your right knee down. Now power up super strong. Hands to the floor, plank vinyasa. Or your downward facing dog. Inhale together. Open mouth, exhale. Fill up again. And empty. Lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward. Top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Reach all the way up to Dasana. Hands to heart center. Maybe you close your eyes here. Maybe your palms drop down by your waist. Maybe you do grab a sip of water. Maybe you need to find stillness. Maybe you need to pedal out your feet. Find a way for you to reconnect with your breath. If you're having a hard time catching your breath, try to slow your exhales to be longer than your inhales. So breathe in for a count of three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Once more on your own, slow breath in. Slower breath out. Beautiful, blink your eyes open. Inhale, your arms extend overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Do that again, inhale, arms up. Taking eagle on the right. So eagle arms, right arm goes under your left. Elbows join, forearms join. Fingertips connect and elbows are in line with your shoulders. If your shoulders are tight, you can take elephant trunk, pressing your forearms together, or a bear hug. So if you're taking eagle arms, right arm is under, and then slowly shift your weight into your left foot as you come up to your one-legged Tadasana. And then we're coming back into our favorite chair, crossing your right leg over your left. Lots of options. You don't have to find the full compression. You can take figure four legs. Maybe your right toes can wrap around your left Achilles tendon. Maybe you need to have no eagle legs and that's perfect too. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, take one more in. Stay as you exhale. Reach all the way up, one-legged Tadasana, arms extend high. Breathe empty. Beautiful, one more in. Warrior three, your right heel goes back. Heart comes forward. You can take a soft bend in your left leg. You can bring your hands to heart center and send them back behind you. You can reach out and connect your palms. Traditional warrior three. Right toes flex down. Hips try to line up with each other. Squeezing through your right glute. Gazes forward, take a breath in and a breath out. Slowly rise up, one-legged Tadasana, right knee high. Beautiful foot to the floor. Shake it out a moment. Roll out your shoulders, your neck, your wrists, whatever you need before we go around two on the left side. Feet are both grounded. Gaze is forward as you inhale, reach your arms up. Eagle on the left. So left arm under, elbows, forearms, maybe your fingertips. Elbows lift up, or bear hug, or elephant trunk. Then the left leg comes up and crosses over again. Feel free to keep it a little bit wide. Feel free to not lift your left leg up at all. Feel free to wind your left toes behind your right ankle. Definitely breathe. Pressing down into your right heel, but lifting up 
through your fingertips. Take an inhale and an exhale. Good, just one more. Squeeze everything down tightly. Now push down to reach up one legged Tadasana. Beautiful, exhale together. Take one more breath in. Your version of warrior three, left heel back, heart forward. You can always drop your hands down. Can always take any other option with your arms. Neck is long though. Trying to straighten out through your left leg. You can take a soft knee in your right knee though. Stay as you exhale. Good for one more breath in. Squeeze to stay. Slowly rise up, left knee pulls forward. And foot to the floor. Awesome. Inhale together. And exhale. Gazes forward, arms extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plank or vinyasa. Good, breathe in here and breathe out. Take one more. The exhale. Send your right leg high. Warrior one. Inhale, rise up and connect your palms up overhead. So stay as you inhale and as you exhale. Now as you inhale, straighten through your front leg. Exhale, press back into your warrior one legs. Inhale, rise up through your fingers, through your heart, your belly, exhale down. Good, again, inhale up. Find your deepest warrior one legs. One more time, rise. Pyramid pose, extending up and over, all the way down. And then maybe you step your back foot in so that your left heel can connect. Lots of options, you can bring your hands to your shins, to your ankle, out in front of you. You can keep your palms connected the whole time. No matter what you're doing, I want your gaze to be slightly forward, at least at your ankle, so that you're not tucking your chin under. Keep your neck long, your throat loose. Breathe in together and breathe out. Good, one more you guys in. Reconnect your palms and then rise up just halfway. Stay as you exhale, spine is long. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Now rising all the way up. Warrior two, so nice. Stay as you breathe in. Good, exhale together. Now inhale, straighten your right leg again. Exhale, press down into your warrior two. Open this front knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, press down. Good, one more round up. And down. Straighten the final time. Triangle pose, reaching out in front of your right foot, then hinging your body. You can reach one or both arms forward. You can connect the palms overhead. You can use your bottom arm as support or leverage. Neck is long, shoulders are stacked. We're almost done here, so breathe in and breathe out. Good, one more. Exhale, push down to rise all the way up to star pose and sink into your horse. Take a moment here, shift side to side. We're opening up into this nice wide middle squat. Toes are out just slightly. You want your knees to go toward your toes. So if your toes are wide and your knees are rolling in, roll your toes in a little bit. Good, so breathe in. Find a little bit deeper squat here. Shoulders are relaxed, breath in. Good, breath out. We've got one more in. Find your depth, just squeeze it a tiny bit lower. Good, inhale, rise up, star pose. Exhale, prasarita, forward fold. Make any adjustments you need. This time toes are in, heels are wide. Feel free to move, to twist, to rock. You can bend alternating knees. You can take a headstand. Got about 
Four more breaths here. Again, without doing a somersault, the weight is slightly forward into your toes. Just enough that a sliver of paper could go underneath your heels. You're breathing in and you're breathing out. Tee out your arms as you inhale, halfway lift. Squeeze into your inner thighs as you breathe out. Tummy is in, spine is long, breath in. Breath out. Good, you guys, one more breath in. Low lunge to the front. Move your right foot off to the side, drop your left knee down. Feel free to stay tall on your palms. You can walk forward onto your forearms. Always welcome here to take a quad stretch, rolling on more to the top of your thigh than on your knee, reaching back, opposite foot to hand. Again, you've got about three more breaths. Feel free to move or stay still. And then pressing up into your low lunge, right foot comes center, left knee lifts up, spine is long, breathe in, breathe out. Right leg goes high, three-legged dog, downward facing dog, full round of breath, and exhale. Send your left leg up, warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms connect overhead, or at least your fingertips. And if that's too much to keep your arms straight, you can always bend them, but push in your fingertips. Sink down, pelvic bone tucks under. Now as you inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, press it down in to the lunge. Inhale to straighten. Good, exhale, press down. Two more times up. Squeeze low. Last time, reach up. Pyramid pose, reaching forward all the way down. Maybe stepping your right foot in. Choosing to take whatever arms you need to your shin, to the floor, to the ankle. Palms can connect. Heart is forward. And then your head comes down slightly to breathe in and out. Good, one more in. Connect your palms if they're not already. And slowly rise all the way up, push down into your feet. Warrior two, good. Find your warrior two and breathe out. Adding movement, inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, press deep into your lunge. Good, again, up and down. Keep squeezing your pinkies back behind you slightly. Lift up and down. It's our last time to rise up. Trikonasana, triangle pose, hinging, reaching. Any arms you need here, you can support, you can hover, you can reach one or both arms forward. We've got three more breaths in and out for two, to exhale, last one, good, empty out, push down to reach all the way up, star pose, exhale, sink to your horse, we're going to flow this a few times, star pose, rise up, exhale, sink down, nice and deep to your horse, two more times, up and open, exhale, sink down, keep your heart high, last one, Good, exhale to empty, to lower, inhale to rise, expand, stretch. Cross Arita, down once again. Toes are in, heels are wide. You've got five breaths here. Whatever that needs to look like for you. Maybe try something new. Maybe return to something that felt really good on the first side. Definitely breathing. Two 
Two more rounds in. And out. Good. In. Exhale. And then again, tee out your arms. Rise up halfway. Stay as you exhale. Push down into your heels. Inner thigh squeeze. Breathe out. Good. One more time. And low lunge to the left. Right knee down. Taking any version. Maybe you're going low. Maybe you're staying tall. Quad stretch is an option. Open your heart. Let your body slow, relax, release. Good, and come back into a low lunge. Right knee lifts. Heart is forward. Hands are down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Send your right leg high. Half pigeon. So your right shin is coming forward. There are a lot of options here. If this feels okay on your knee, feel free to walk your forearms down in front of you. Maybe your forehead touches the floor. If it's not comfortable for your knee, consider taking it in a seated position. Right shin is still forward, crossing over your left knee or even down onto your back. So find whatever version works for you. Yoga is a healing practice. So you shouldn't be in pain. So trying to find that tension between what is stretching and what's challenging versus what is painful and always trying to avoid the pain. So find your pigeon or figure four variation. This pose is challenging for a lot of us. So try to use your breath to find a little bit of length on your inhales and then soften into the pose on your exhales. Maybe challenging yourself again to have some longer exhales than your inhales. We're here for five more breaths. Try to relax your neck, your shoulders. Maybe close your eyes. And when you're ready, pressing up nice and tall and shifting into any counter stretches you like. So maybe that is kicking high, bending and opening. Maybe you're taking a forward fold in a seated position. Maybe you want to flip your dog once more. Child's pose is a great option. You've got about three more breaths. Take whatever stretch or position you need. To loosen out through your right hip. We'll meet in downward dog. Unless you're already on your back, you can stay there. But inhale together. And exhale. And then left leg high. Half pigeon, figure four. Whatever variation you need. Taking a moment to square off to the front short edge of your mat. And then coming down maybe. Again, feel free to take this in a seated version or down onto your back. And try to relax into the pose for a few rounds of breath here.
You've got three more breaths. Lengthen, expand, relax, release. And then again, slowly find your counter stretches, whatever feels good to release out through the left side. Again, child's pose is an awesome option. Or even a tabletop. Breathe in together. Breathe out. Good, take one more in and drop down to your knees. We're gonna take broken toe pose. So coming up into a tall kneeling position, we're tucking our toes underneath us. So this is just to stretch out the bottoms of our feet, which can be super painful, particularly if your feet are very tight. So if just tucking under is a lot of pain and stress, feel free to not do this at all. Again, I don't want you to break your toes, but if it feels okay, think of keeping your gaze forward, squeezing into your glutes, your inner thighs, heart is lifted, and then very slowly start dropping your weight backward, hips to your heels. You can always lean forward a little bit or bring your hands to the mat to relieve some of the pressure. Maybe close your eyes, maybe even drop your chin slightly to your chest. We're here for three more breaths. Good, you guys, one more. Beautiful, as you inhale, rise up, up, off, release the tops of your toes down, and sit back on your heels to stretch the top of the feet. If you're not feeling much of a stretch, feel free to drop your hands back behind you. Lift up through your heart, maybe even through your hips. Stretch out through the quads. Beautiful. Slowly we're coming down onto the mat. Soles of your feet to the mat. Spine is also all the way down. We're gonna take three rounds of bridge pose or wheel bridge our feet are down our arms are along by our hips almost touching fingertips to heels but no worries if that's not quite what you can access today wheel your palms are back behind your ears or by your ears for a full back bend take a breath in together and a breath out and as you inhale find your first round of bridge or wheel pushing down into your heels lifting up through the top of your hips squeezing your inner thighs, pressing the back of your triceps into the ground. We've got a breath in, good, and an exhale together. One more in, and slowly release the spine down, one vertebra at a time. Feel free to windshield wipe your knees side to side. And then we're finding our round two. So find your starting position, inhale together. Tuck your belly in as you breathe out. And then again, press down into your heels, lift up through your heart. You can lift up one leg at a time. You're welcome to stay, both feet firmly planted. You've got three more breaths to exhale. Good, in. Stay as you breathe out. Maybe lift half an inch higher and roll down. So good, one more time. Take any wiggle, shake, release through the back. And then find your starting position for your third and final round. Breathe in together, breathe out, and find your bridge or wheel. Open mouth exhales, really squeezing into your inner thighs, lifting up through your heart for two, Good, last one. And again, very slowly, gently, carefully roll down. Pull your knees in and take a rock side to side. Maybe take happy baby 
reaching for the insides of your feet, pulling your knees wide, or maybe even around the back of your knees. Good, pull just your right knee into your chest, send your left leg long, flex into both feet as you breathe in, and breathe out. Good, take another breath in, and supine twist, pull the right leg across the left, both shoulders stay on the ground, gaze is either straight up or maybe over your right shoulder, for you to breathe in, and breathe out, relax your jaw, relax your neck, relax your forehead, good, one more in, and out, and then come back to center, plant your left foot on the ground, cross your right ankle over, and then drop both knees over to the right side, so you have a nice little pinwheel, arms are down or out to the side, just letting your hips sink down, trying to keep both shoulder blades on the floor so you're pulling your left hip back slightly. Breath in. Good, and breathe out. And come back to center, shake it out. Again, maybe you rock side to side or forward and back. Maybe happy baby once again, or even just a nice tight squeeze. And then left side, left leg in, right leg long. Flex into both feet. Take your breath in. And then supine twist, left knee over, left arm long, shoulders down, maybe your eyes closed. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly roll back onto your back, right knee, or sorry, right foot down, left ankle crosses over your right knee, and then pull your little pinwheel stretch over to the left, arms out to the side, or along by your hips. Two more rounds of breath. Good, release back to center. Feel free to shake out anything else. Take any final poses or stretches that you need to feel complete. Make your way into your final Savasana pose. Maybe your whole body is long, legs and arms extended. Maybe your feet are planted into the floor, low back tucks under. Maybe you need your hands on your tummy or your heart. You can always take them nice and wide. Sometimes that feels good. And your final pose will be here about five or six rounds of breath. Really try to relax in, deepen your inhales and your exhales. As always, feel free to stay here as long as you need. Really enjoy your savasana, your time of peace and relaxation. If you are ready to move on, add some movement back through your ankles, toes, wrists, fingers. Maybe even take a gentle rock of your head and neck side to side.
slowly coming up into a seated position. Maybe you want to rock and roll the length of your mat a few times. Really take your time. However you need to get there. In your comfortable seat, press down into your sit bones. Lift up through the crown of your head. As you inhale, reach your arms up nice and tall. Fingertips connect. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Do that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And a final time together. Inhale, reach. Hands to heart. Namaste.